Hi, this is Peter of PL Photography Services. I'm going to do a quick tutorial showing how you can turn a colour image into a sketch drawing. And we're going to use Photoshop to do that. So let's close this down and start by opening Photoshop. So I've already opened up my start image ready to go. And the first thing I'm going to do is to create a copy of this in our layers palette. Our layers palette is open and there's a shortcut. I'm working on a Mac, so it's Command and J. If you're working on a PC, that's Control and J. There you go. So here's our fresh layer. And as a professional, this is really the way to work. It does mean that anything we do here, we've always got our start layer here. So if we do anything wrong, we can always come back. It's called non-destructive editing. Okay, enough about that. Let's remove the colour from this picture first. We're going to use an adjustment layer by clicking on this icon here. And then we're going to select Hue and Saturation. And our saturation slider gets moved all the way down to minus 100. And you can see that takes all of the colour out of this image. And close that. So the next thing we're going to do with this copy we're going to select this layer and then we're going to choose a blend mode called Color Dodge, which doesn't look great. And we're also going to invert this image and the keyboard shortcut on a Mac is Command and I or Control and I if you're on a PC. Okay, so most of our image is gone. That doesn't look good, but don't worry, we're now going to apply a filter. So we come up to our filter Blur, Gaussian Blur. Okay, now you can see our picture is back and looking pretty good. Now depending on where I move this slider, you can see we can create more or less of a line drawing. Now I like it, I think, just around about 30. Yep, so we've still got some nice detail in there. And that's working, so let's click OK to that. OK, now as it stands, that's quite good, but I think I'm going to add just a little bit of warmth into this image. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a composite, so I'm going to merge all of these layers. So by selecting the top one, I can now use Shift, Alt, Command, and E, and it's created this top layer. We're going to create another adjustment layer, another hue and saturation adjustment, because within this, there's something here called Colorize. And when I click here, you can see it just brings some color in here. And we control this here. This hue slider determines the color. I'm going to go for the sort of light red, orange there. And then saturation determines how much of that color we let into the image. And I like it, I think somewhere around about, yeah, 20 seems to work. And we can turn this layer on or off. That's off, and just on, just warms that ever so slightly. But again, it does mean that if I don't like anything or I do something wrong, all of these layers underneath remain intact. If I turn these layers off, the ones we've worked on, we can see that our start image is not damaged. We've just built up these various layers. OK, I'm going to do one last thing. I'm going to create one more composite layer of all of these. Shift, Alt, Command, and E. I'm just going to soften this down a little bit. I'm going to create a little bit of a glow to this image. and can can be a really nice effect if you use sparingly. So here's our composite image which is combined of all of these layers underneath and we're going to go to filter we're going to go into Gaussian blur again and we're going to get quite a high value I'm going to go to about there and click OK now you can see straight away that's not great but if we change the blend mode in this instance to soft light our image comes back. And if I just turn this on and off, 
you can just see I've just taken some of the darkness edges away, the harshness, and I've just made it a little bit softer. Okay, final touch I like to apply to all of my images, uh, or certainly the majority. We're just going to put a border on this. And I'm going to open up a new border, so Command and O to open up my folders. And this is my chosen border, it's called Sloppy Border, which looks like that. Now all of these, this checkerboard you can see in the middle tells me that there's nothing there. That's a transparent part, and anything which comes under this, we'll see. So we're going to take this border and put it onto our other image. So I'm going to use Command and A, or Control and A if you're on a PC, to select all. These marching ants tell me it's all selected. Command C to copy. Now I've copied that to my clipboard so I can now close this window down. Command W. There we are, that's gone and we're back to our original picture. The keyboard chalker to paste from our clipboard is Control and V. There we are, and once you can see that, our border is coming up here as a new layer on top of everything. So we're just going to increase the size and, and get this right. I'm going to use a keyboard shortcut, Command and T. And I can just now drag this layer to where I want this border to be and how I want it to look. OK. I think that's quite good. Click Enter on your keyboard or click there to apply that transformation. And there we are. Uh, I'm liking that. So that's it. That's how you create a sketch effect from a color picture. And again, all of our layers are here. If I come and turn them off, you can see what we did to achieve that. But I've still got my original image intact. Good. Well, I hope you enjoy that. hope that was clear. Go away and have a go at some of your own images. Mm -hmm.